You could have got on a plane and left this place. In a perfect world, we make perfect choices. Hey everybody, welcome back to Mother Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. If you guys are new, have a click of that subscribe button. Today we're gonna to be talking about Netflix's newest film, The Last Thing He Wanted. It is a rated R, it is a mystery crime movie, and it's an hour and 55 minutes long, and it's directed by D. Reese. I'm not even going to do a review on this because I, I don't know what it is that I saw. I really don't. After I finished watching the movie, I went on line to look at other people's reviews because I was like, am I just the only one? I'm like, maybe I was tired, maybe I have to rewatch it. But I'm not alone, you guys. Like, everybody says that they don't get the movie. It, it's it's horrible. I, I don't even think I can really classify it as horrible because I don't even know what it's about. Netflix knows that it's a terrible movie because they're actually trying to, like, bury it deep down in its, like, archives. People were saying that it's not even popping up on their Netflix um, deal. When I saw the movie yesterday, it was on the main little top deal. But then this morning, they didn't have it. It had the foreigner. And let me actually see right now. Let's see. Let's see if it has it. Nope, it's the foreigner. You see? And um, I think it's there. As far as trendy, not even here. Watch it again. Doesn't have. Nope. Look, it's like. Oh, there it is. Netflix original right there. Okay, so they do have it there but it's not like as you see i had to like scroll down and um oh the movie came out on netflix february the 21st so literally just on friday so for it to happen all the way down there where i had to actually scroll for it and you know what i'm gonna give you spoilers because you should not even see this movie you guys well maybe you should so you can maybe you understand it and you know you can let me know what it's about but either way because i'm gonna give you guys spoilers for this movie to have such a great cast and it has Anne Hathaway, Ben Affleck, William Defoe, Rosie Paris. It, it sucks, you guys. We started off, which was a narration, okay, which I don't have nothing against it, but I don't feel like they utilized it as well. Plus, when Anne Hathaway was narrating from the in the beginning and at the end, it doesn't really like coincide with her character. It's almost like they're two different characters. Like the bad guys basically come into their office and start like shooting up people. Her and Rosie end up like running away and, and as far as Anne's character dying to me that was kind of pretty obvious within like the first I don't know 20 30 minutes I was like I bet you you're gonna die I mean she's a journalist she's in another country they're literally wanting her dead you know but that was before we officially knew that she was gonna she was being hunted but just because of the situation where she was in in El Salvador and where she was kind of pushing on trying to get the story I was like the government's not gonna let you live even her death was so dramatic you guys Ben Affleck is the one that basically ends up killing her. He's falling down, slow motion, just kind of looking up, narrating again. Uh, Anne's character at some point when she's talking to... I don't even know who she's talking to, to be honest with you. I, at this point, I forgot. The, oh, the, the, the guy that we thought was maybe trying to hurt her or kill her, but had the whole, like undercover french guy deal that you know towards the end you know i ended up figuring out that that's what he was and he wasn't actually trying to hurt her but you know when he came out of nowhere when they were at the pool and like saved her life it's like okay so then you're not trying to hurt her which i think maybe like the end of the movie she talks about that this is all she has the story that doesn't have anything now and i'm just like dude you have a freaking daughter um, I think it would be nice for you to live for your daughter, but no, no, the story apparently is way more important than your kid. <sighs> you know what, that, 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 that's all I'm going to say, you guys. I don't even know how to write this. I really don't because I, I don't know what it's about. I don't, I, and it was so long. Throughout the whole movie, I kept trying to figure out what this movie is about. And I never got it, and I still don't know. So I don't know, you guys. I I, I guess I'm gonna give it a water cup rating. I I don't I don't even know. No rating? Can I give it a no rating? Cause if you don't know what the hell this movie is about, don't watch it. I mean, Netflix doesn't even want you to watch it. Such a waste of a cast. This script was horrible. Uh, what's the hell is the name of the movie again? I forgot the game. Like no joke. It's called uh, the last thing he wanted. If you've seen the last thing he wanted, what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you, it? Did you hate it? Did you not understand it? Do you not know what it was about like me? Let me know down below. Before you guys click on this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know if I each other that I post something new. Until next time, I'll be seeing you guys in the sessions. Bye!